You made a comment earlier on in terms of the amount of energy and cost you think it would co- it would actually take to build DeepSeek's model. Could you speak to that? Sure. So when we bought on our first major supercomputer, this would have been about 10th fastest in the world publicly in 2022 at stability. It was 4,000 A100s, which were the top of the range chips. The internet connect was a bit poor, but you know, it was still big. And each of those chips used like 400 watts of electricity. That was a big old beast. If you can recall uh, the recent NVIDIA announcement, Jensen had this like shield, which was a chip. That was a new integrated box. These NVL 72s with 72 chips, super interconnected. In fact, the interconnect on those chips is equivalent to the bandwidth of the whole internet. That's how much faster they've got. One of those boxes. Can you repeat that? The compute on those chips is what? The, The interconnect. The yeah. way that they communicate with each other, the total bandwidth is like six petabits a second, which is the bandwidth of the whole internet. They figured out how to get everything integrated. So you don't have this chip to chip interconnect. You just have this like big wafer with hmm. 72 chips on it. It uses 100 kilowatts of electricity. And when I was doing the math on this, I was like, so you have 2,000 of these H800 slightly hobble chips that the Chinese have, right? And DeepSeek are using. I think it would require 10 of these boxes at most, probably even less, to create that model. And each box costs $3 million of these new data center boxes. In fact, I think it probably only costs four of these boxes. And even if you take the upper bound, the total energy required to train a model is 1,000 megawatt hours. And it's like 15 bucks or something a megawatt hour in the US now. You could you could literally train it off of a small solar farm in your backyard? Well, a big solar farm, you know, it still pulls down a decent amount, like 100,000 kilowatt hours of energy. But then that box to run it, you could definitely run DeepSeek R1 on solar power panels. And if we look at the direction this is going, because it's still not optimized, Mm. next year, you should be able to get an O1 level model on your smartphone that pulls at most 20 watts of electricity. And it's less than a dollar per watt of solar power. And this doesn't make sense if you look at what these models are capable of and we think about the cost of intellectual labor. Well, it makes it makes sense when you think about how much energy your brain pulls. It's 20 watts. And and so we've got a we have a huge efficiency curve to ride to get there. And I think the, the thing is like by next year you will have these O1 level models on 20 watts which is our human brain level. And these are PhD level in so many areas. And that doesn't compute because we've had these discussions of Microsoft is bringing back Three Mile Island as a nuclear power reactor. You know, Dyson spheres. Energy is going to use everything. Like 60 gigawatts of electricity is coming on for data centers in the US, I think, over the next year or so. Yet when we get down to the actual numbers for a given unit of intelligence, it's a few watts. It's a few pennies. Before that, it would take entire teams using how many watts of energy in their brain, in their infrastructure. And we're not ready for that. 